Welcome to my channel. This video is about the S parameter analysis of a low noise amplifier in Cadence Virtuoso. Design of a low noise amplifier is created using two NMOS transistors followed by passive elements like resistor, capacitor, and inductor. The voltage source is of 1.2 volt. The input inductance through the supply is having a parameter of 1 nano. You can see the object properties inductance of 1 nano Henry followed by resistance of 5 ohm. Similarly, it has a DC capacitance at the input and output of 1 nano and 345 femtofarad. This is an inductance of 200 pico Henry. The width of the transistors are the total width is 60 micrometers and it has a finger width of 6 micro with fingers 10. 10 multiplied by 6 micro will lead to 60 micro. Click on OK. Similarly, the second transistor, it has a width of 6 micro followed by total width of 60 micrometer with 10 fingers. Click on OK. Then it has port at the input and output. To check the port properties, you can get browse it from the analog library and select PORT. This is the symbol of the port. To check the object properties of this particular port, Press Q. It has a input resistance of 50 ohm followed by source type is sign. You can provide different types of source. Right now I am using sign. The input frequency is of 2.4 gigahertz. I want to check the operation of this low noise amplifier at 2.4 gigahertz. Click OK. Similarly, it has another port at the output with resistance of 50 ohm and source type is sign. Click on OK. Once the design is complete, go to the launch, click on ADEL. Choose the analysis here. Click on Yes parameters. SP yes stands for Yes parameters. Select, then click on Select to select the ports. Select these two ports so that they appear at this point. Then I want to start the simulation or S parameter analysis from. 100 megahertz to 5 gigahertz with a linear sweep and number of step size is 50. Click on OK. It is loaded here. Then click on Netlist and run. This has performed the S parameter analysis and you can see this up to 5 gigahertz it has completed. Minimize this then to see the responses go to the results 
direct plot main form you will be made available with the canvas where the analysis is sp as parameters function is also sp then you have plot type of rectangular z smith y smith and polar right now select the rectangular plot and modifier could be a magnitude value or a real value imaginary as well as face i want to go for db20 scale then click on s11 Try to see the response and press M to see the marker. The low noise amplifier is resonating at a particular frequency of 2.45, which is half of 5 gigahertz, and it has a return loss of minus 18 which is quite adequate for a high frequency response it is greater than minus 10 db it is greater than minus 10 db loss and it is resonating for again higher frequencies similarly you can plot for s21 You have another plot. And yes, one, two. All the plots can be plotted. The point to be observed is the port one, we have provided an input of 2.4 gigahertz, but I want the port to be bidirectional. You can provide a frequency of again. 2.4 gigahertz here from the output side also so that it is a bidirectional check and save the design rerun the simulation let me close this go to the results direct plot main form db yes one one similar response i want yes two two from the other side i'll plot all these are the responses from the port one let me delete this or let me have only s11 to this i can add further more plots like we have ga which is available gain of this particular amplifier i can plot it on db10 plot and i can click on power gain click on plot that is also available similarly gt transducer gain click on plot all this plot will help to perform the analysis of a low noise amplifier using cadence what you saw delete this and uh, you can split this curves and you can measure the values at this particular point so press v for vertical and you can measure the value exactly at 2.4 k 
Giga Hertz.